Easy people, uh, hope you're all okay in these strange times, uh, as you probably can't see my ugly mug. Um, for some weird reason, my um, camera, my web camera isn't working anymore. So tell me if you want to see me face or you just rather me yab. Um, if you need to see my face, there's a load of videos with it on. I've decided I'm going to call this... Um, Oh yeah, Arranger Automation Effects because I'm going to show you how you can work with automation and effects on the Arranger and it also works for the clips but it's really mainly for the Arranger because um, at the moment with the 305 until the next update which may be the 306 or the 307 or 308, 9, 10, I don't know we're going to have this problem and what the problem is I'll go to the mixer to show you. If I slide across, even though you've got mixer channels, right, what you don't have is you don't have mixer tracks. Um, you don't have mixer tracks in clips and you don't have mixer tracks in the Ranger. And what that means is you can't record automation because automation needs a track to record into. So I've kind of figured a workaround, which I'm going to show you. Um, it's, it's relatively straightforward and easy. So um, maybe some advanced te techniques are going to occur here. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, so this is what it normally is like. If I was to go and I'll go, um, I'll go. Yeah, I'll just go. I'm here already. So I'm in project, right? And I set up a project thing here. So I've got filter and some other stuff. So I'll play a track. So I've got the thing here and I can do this. The unfortunate thing is this is on the master. I'll show you another quick way of getting through things is by sliding to the left. So I've got this on the master, nice filter. And that'll be all fun if you've got kills. And everything. Yeah. Like I says, there is no master track and there is no submix tracks. So how do I get around that? Because I want this effect, I think, yeah, that's cool. Right. Well, it's, like I say, relatively easy. First thing you need to do is you need to uh, make sure whatever effect you're using, you have at least one um, effect channel free on each track that you want to make this effect on. Right. That might sound convoluted. Um, what I basically mean is I'm going to add a filter and I want to add a filter. So the first thing I need to do is click on here and I'll go down to filter. And what's quite cool, cool if I start here and I go and I open whatever effect, it, it kind of remembers which um, kind of tree you're in. So it'll, it'll remain there. So I'm going to select that. And that's going to put that there on four i'm just going to do them all on four so then i'll do it again and go here four i'm going to do it on all for the sake of argument um i may speed this up and not this one because this is the one i'm talking on so i've got that there and then all i have to do is i'll press edit and knobs and i'm into the project section so let me explain a couple of these. You've got, well, I'll do it on the knob thing. When you put in the edit knobs, that's how you can assign different knobs and, knobs and pads for different functions. What we're going to be talking about now, I'm just keeping to the basic one of just using knobs. I could do on pads and that lot, but just using knobs. What's great about this is you now have two project um, like screens so what you you potentially have is 16 different i'm just going to talk about knobs because you, you can do pads and it's like 100 or 256 or whatever but we're just keeping the knobs right 
you can have f 16 different effects on each project knob. So you've got a total of 32 knobs that can be used for effects. So there's plenty there. I'm just going to use project one to show, demonstrate what I'm doing here. Just while I'm talking about it, you've got effects from what's a special, specific effects rack, and it's similar to how I show track. If you look back on what I was trying to explain with these and how they work and which ones you should use, um, as an update to that, uh, you still screens your number one thing, but MIDI and uh, track effects are really useful as well. MIDI is really, really useful now um, for uh, plugins because you've got pitch bend and a whole heap of other stuff, but that's for another uh, tutorial. So uh, I'm going to use Project One to set this up so that I can filter all them tracks in one go and get the automation because that's what I want. So the quickest way for me to get to there is by tapping a free um, one what I want to use. I'm going to use this one because it's free. I could go over that and replace that, but that's not what I want to do. Then all I have to do is press learn and then go to mixer. And then I'll go right back to the beginning. And do you know what? I missed out one dinner. Look at that. I missed out one. So I'll add that now. All right. And then I'm going to go back into it. And then all I have to do is whatever I'm wanting to use. And I'm going to have this. So that's one. Then I press mixer again. I'll come back into channel two. And I press that. So I've got that. Mixer again. Channel three. And what comes after 10, 11? I can count. I go, yay! So I've got that. So now I'm going to go back to edit knobs and I'm going to switch off learn because that's what I wanted. So that's one. What I want to do is I want to have some resonance as well so that I can have that kind of wow sweepy sound. So I'm going to tap the next one next to that and again, learn. So it's back on the trail. Press learn. Go back down to here. Just because I like going back to the beginning. Uh, so I know I'm at the beginning. I tap that, I tap that, one. Um, and that's the position where I want it to start on. So I'll go to the next one. So there you go. And then I'll go back to edit, knobs, blam. Take off learn. And you know what? Because we're nice, we're going to double tap that and I'll name that. So I'll just call it a track filter. Shame they can't see this. You could probably see after, it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I, don't, I don't need to name this, but I could name that. So track filter. So just in case uh, I'm unsure, or oh, more to the point, as I've said. Imagine if I give this to somebody else to do a mix on or whatever, or when I figure out how to upload these somewhere, somebody wants to download them. So, um, and then Rezo, so I'll just call it Rezo for residents. Right. I'm cooking with gas. So now I've done that, uh, I can go here and I'll set up and record a tune. I make sure by pressing shift and record and then settings, make sure that I've got automation writing on. If you don't use it that way, you can also do it by pressing that, but I don't. I like to have that that way so that I've always got automation ready. I'll do shift record and I'll, I'll do a little quick arrangement. So shift record. Yo.
So then I've got this. Um, let me go to my playhead and it's recorded. Forward it here. always do that and uh, everybody does that remember when you're recording it's left in that last position it's not playing from the arranger it's playing from the clips and you can always tell that because that's showing up and the quickest way to get back to that one of two ways you can either press launch here or you can press back to arrange so either one works as you can see this lights up there so I can play it from there but what I could have done is I could have just pressed shift play but it doesn't really matter I can just fast forward through it to show you that it did record that stuff as you can hear so now I've been able to do that without a submix channel track or a master track Excuse me. and I could set that up as long as like I says the only caveat to this is you've got to have uh, enough space on your mixer channels to do whatever the effect it is that you want taking effect so that's basically how you uh, use track effects and automation on the arranger in the Akai Force. I've got quite a few things I want to show you as well. I was going to show you here, but I'm, no, I'm going to leave that for the next one so that it's not too convoluted. And this has probably gone on too long as it is. So I'm going to catch you again. I hope this has been helpful. And please like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.